Welcome to Super Sydney Studios. I'm your host, Alex Sisney, and today we're going to learn how to develop foam. I have my foam already loaded into this container, and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to measure out chemicals. My chemicals are in these five gallon containers. They're already mixed to the right concentration, and all I have to do is fill up my um, graduated cylinder. And because I only have one roll of film in my tank, I'm only going to fill up my graduated cylinder to 11 ounces. If I had two rolls of film in, the, in my tank, I would fill up my graduated cylinder all the way up to 18 ounces. But there's no reason to waste chemicals. So all I do is open the little valve and fill up my cylinder to 11 ounces. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the temperature of my developer. All I need for that is normal thermometer. All right. And I've already actually filled up the stop, fix, and fix remover cups up to 11 ounces. Now, developer and fixer gets poured down the drain, but stop I save. And stop actually has some, something called stop indicator in it. And when the stop is exhausted, it turns violet. But permawash or fix remover does not have any kind of indicator in it. And what I need to do is I need to mark off on my permawash chart every single time I use, use it to develop a roll of foam. And when this chart gets full, I'm going to dump out this container and refill it with new permawash. Right. Now, what I want to do is look at the, temp the temperature of my, my developer. And it's at 72 degrees. So all I gotta do is wash off my thermometer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up a graduated cylinder with water. Now I'm gonna make sure the water is 72 degrees. I want the water and all my chemicals to be the same temperature. And I've already set the temperature to my sink to 72 degrees. So I'm ready to go. All right, now that I have all my chemicals, what I usually do is I keep them in order. First I'm going to put the water in, then the developer, then the stop, then the fixer, then the fix remover. And the reason I keep them in order is because I don't want to mix them up. And it's just easier this way. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the water into my developing tank. Now this is just like a pre-rinse for your film. Let me get off some fingerprints, some general dirt off your film. And what I do is I'm going to set my timer for one minute. I'm going to tap my tank to get rid of any air bubbles off my film. I'm going to agitate for the entire time. And all you need to do to agitate is to turn your container up end. You don't need to shake it or kind of sort of bump it around. Just gently up end it for one entire minute. All right, now that I've pre-rinsed my film, I'm going to pour out the water in the sink. Now I'm going to refer to my developing time chart on the wall. I'm using Tmax Developer. I know that because I put a little sticker on my chart that says Tmax. There's another film developer called D76 that we use here. Whichever one's in the, in the uh, big gallon jug here is right here on this little sticker. And I'm also using Ilfer Pan F4 film. So I find Tmax developer in the developer section. I find my film, which is Ilfer Pan F4. And I find the temperature of the wire. Now the temp I mean, not the, temp uh, not the temperature of the wire. I find the temperature of the developer. And the, now the developer was 72 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop my film for 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So what I do is I take the developer and I pour it into my container, put the lid on, set my timer for 7 minutes and 30 seconds, tap my container, and start agitating. Now I don't want to agitate the entire time, I just want to agitate for the first 30 seconds, then the last 5 seconds of each additional 30 seconds. 
And the reason you don't want to agitate the entire time is because you don't want to overdevelop your foam. But you do want the developer to touch all the areas of the foam. And between agitations, I usually tap my container to get rid of any air bubbles that would be stuck in my foam. So now that I've agitated for 30 seconds, I'm going to wait for 25 seconds. Now I'm going to ag agitate for 5 seconds. And I'm going to repeat this process for the next 7 minutes. All right, now that I've finished developing my film, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the developer down the sink. And the next chemical I'm going to add to my tank is stop. Now, I'm going to stop my film for one entire minute. I'm going to agitate the entire time. And when I'm done, I'm going to make sure I save the stop. Alright, now that I've stopped my film, I'm going to return the stop to the stop container. And all I have to do is pull off the lid and pour the stop back into the container. When I pour the stop back in my container, I usually try to hold on to the funnel because sometimes it comes loose and I hate to have my film fall out into the stop container. Now that my film stopped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my film now. And when you fix your film, you need to fix your film for seven minutes. You want to agitate for the first 30 seconds and the last five seconds of every 30 seconds, just like the developer. So I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes give my container a tap and start agitating. Now that I have fixed my film, I'm going to pour out the fix into the sink. And when you fix your film, your film is now light safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my container, take out the funnel, take out my film. I can see my film is on the bottom reel and I can see that there's going to be images on there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick my film into the film washer right here, set my timer for one minute, and just rinse my film for one minute. All right, now that my film has been rinsed for one minute, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my film out of this rinsing tank. There we go. Now this is just like a preliminary rinse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to return my film to my developing tank, put the funnel back in, 